how much can you afford? This is what everyone wants to know now. And it has to do with your debt ratio, right? So you might you, listen, we see it all the time. And Ashley can attest to this. People are out looking for homes on the weekend. They see a home, they fall in love with it. That is my dream home. I want this home, but they haven't been pre-approved yet. They've not been pre-qualified. And so we, then they call us, we hurry, we run the numbers. Well, guess what? That home is out of your reach. You've got this debt, this debt, this debt. It's not affordable. So we, we are look, going to look at your credit history and we're going to assess your debt to income ratio to determine the amount of home that for which you, you will qualify. Now, the debt to income ratio is typically, it's the anticipated total housing payment. Okay, so that includes the uh, principal, that's the loan amount, and then how much you're paying for uh, homeowners insurance and property taxes, okay? That gets included, and then any other debt payments, a car payment, student loan payments, a credit card, the minimum payments that are required, all of those total up to your monthly debt. And then you take your gross monthly, that's before taxes and insurance are taken out, and you divide that, okay? So you're taking your, your debt and divide it by your gross monthly income. That gives you the ratio. Ideally, 45% is where Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, they love that number, 45% or lower. You can go higher if you're looking at a VA or an FHA loan, which we'll talk more about that later, but you can go higher up to 55%, and I've seen it even higher. It really depends on your credit score, your credit history, your on-time payments. All that plays a role in, in what ratio they're willing to accept.